<laughs> Excuse me. Okay. We're celebrating. What's the occasion? I, 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 he asked me to marry him, and I said yes. And we're going to have a wedding and a baby and a house in Georgetown with a garden. Oh, do you need to talk to him? Because I'm engaged. I could go plan things. Okay. What is it? That explosion in California, Cytron, that was Hollis. Thought it might be. He killed seven people, Cy. And he's setting some poor innocent girl up for it. Her name's Lindsay Dwyer. How should we handle this? What do we do? There isn't anything we can do. What? There's always something we can do. Olivia, we're an hour and a half from the State of the Union. We're an hour and a half from giving kids a chance to go to college. An hour and a half from changing this nation for the better. So what exactly would you have us do? Expose what we did. Have Fitz resign. Make Sally Langston the president of the United States. Hollis is a dangerous person. We won. Hollis isn't a threat to us. No one's a threat to us. Because we won. And it is sad what happened to those seven people. It is heartbreaking. But they gave their lives in service to their country. Lindsay Dwyer will give up her freedom in service to her country. And that makes them American heroes. That makes them patriots. And the best way that I can honor their sacrifice is to move on. Buckle down. How are you? Excited for the State of the Union speech tonight? Yes. I'm excited, too. I read the final draft of the speech. You and Fitz did an amazing job. Thank you, Mrs. Grant. Oh, I have something of yours. The Secret Service found it. You know how, right? He's on POTUS detail. He found it the night the president went to the National Archives to view the Constitution, which surprised me because if he'd gone to the National Archives to view the original Constitution of the United States, he would have invited his wife. But how said you were there? So... Really, I, I, we all want the same thing. You and me, Cyrus, we are a team. We got him in the White House, and we are going to keep him here. We are doing our patriotic duty, serving our country, working for the greater good. We just go about it differently, I suppose. You make sure Fitz gets this? Yes. Thank you, Olivia. We gather this evening with a new mandate for America. The American people have made it clear that they want an end to partisan rancor. And every new president stands here vowing that things will be different. And nothing changes. So listen to me carefully now. This time will be different. I dedicate this presidency to bringing integrity back, responsibility back, governing back. And I will remind both my own party and those across the aisle every day that we have the sworn duty, the sacred obligation to not just pay lip service, but to actually, finally, and definitively do better. And so I leave you with this pledge. At this time, in this place, with this presidency, it will be different. Sally Margaret Langston to solemnly swear that I promise.